on before I want to explain it uh, that's the that's the talk is for is a is a kind of preparation for the for the main talk which will be the in the fourth of your February and the uh, not sure if it will be it will be possible make the, the transmission because as you saw this the system of transmission by YouTube is not so so good let's uh, they we have several problems with the with the speed so maybe the best way will be to produce a webinar as I have done before and make the, it available so the let's say as I was I was reading yesterday in a, in a book called the make sense of life which you, you which is one of the book that he, I'm planning to use during the talk I mean one of the book that has a big influence on me and yeah, I'm planning to use as uh, the book said, it's like every author has a, a set of, of predilection, a set of uh, ways of working, the way that he, she or she prefer to work. I honestly like to work uh, sometime if, if time, like you come back in the past and then understand, uh, and understand, the, uh, understand the reasons why we, we arrive to a certain point. So what I'm doing here in the beginning to make some kind of, you are going to come, to come back in, the, in time. And to understand a little bit, so I'm going. Uh, I'm not going to do it for. I mean, if you really trying to to think about it, we should do it for every error. For every error, we should do it. But uh, I'm not. i will just do it for biology and medicine. Medicine are going a little bit faster. So for biology, I'll, I'll get a little bit more detailed, and for medicine, I'll be a little bit more faster. So. And by, but you can, if you are interested, you can let me know that I can give you the reference. I can, there is, it was based on material that was published. So we can, you can go there and double check that on your own. It's not a problem. So uh, there is a very nice documentary. It's called The Great, the Great Discovered in, in, in Science. And the, you have this, uh, it was produced by Bill Neal, which is a, a, a I I follow some of of his his, his like his interviews and some some of his works, and he, people like to call him the science guy. Indeed, he's a very he's, he 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 did some very good work on the era of of the of the let's say the era of the, of me of, of explain scientific theory scientific ideas. And uh, there is one of the his documentary he talk he talk about the great moment of biology, and he says it very nice that he he start with some initial ideas of biology and he say like society of cells simple and complex so the stuff of society of cells is somehow new it's like it's not so so old because the stem of society of cell came mainly in the system thinking that which which is the one that gave rise to to system to system biology and there is a book that i'm going to comment on the other talk and it's called the book called the web of life and it was was published by capra capra wrote previously another book as well on this on the on the on the same way and the the the, the let's say he said that he all, uh, all, all, all connect by I think let's say every organism are connected by a stonish web of molecular process. So this is the, the the new view of the, of the living system. The living system not seen anymore as a as a separate such as it was in the past. First time the, the, the cell the cell of the body was discovered they were more worried about how they are alone as a unit. Nowadays you have the view that cell is a complex system that's connected, that cell may communicate. The best example that we have is the is the brain. The brain is a huge is a it's a very nice example of the of the of connectivity that you have in between the cells. So, uh, so uh, bio, uh, biology the as I was. I have been written about the history of biology. The the name biology cell was 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 used in the end of the of the 19th century, so it's a relative new. But the study of biology came even before with the microscope. So the microscope was 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 discovered more or less on the on the on the period of time, 
and the, as people say, it came from some of the adaptation of the work of Galileo. Galileo have, have developed the, the, it was not himself that developed. He he saw the work from another guy that was not a scientist, was just um, someone that he used to work like normal, of course, that he was not a researcher. And the, he decided to make it better in order to prove his point about the, the moon, that the Aristotle idea was not correct, that the moon was not that crystal ball of the, that was seen from here. As the story goes, he wasn't accepted by the church, the acquisition, and so on. And then he started to prove. Then later, they, the people improved more. He had the microscope, and, and the, then they developed from the adaptation of the microscope. The, the the telescope they developed the microscope which he, which was the opposite the, the telescope is developed for you to see the the far away and the microscope is developed for you to see the small but the principle behind the physics behind more or less the same so it was with a lot of it robert hook is a is a is a, is a, is a let's say is a, is a very famous scientist that the People, um, people like he, uh, uh, people recognize his work. And for example, uh, let's say in the time of Newton, he he was part of the of the of this of the Royal Society in the in London. And the, as some people, as some defend, and he, uh, he had a big influence in Newton. But New is as uh, as like Newton refused to recognize his his influence as. As they go in the history of science, you see that Newton was asked to was asked to 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 make some acknowledgement of he, of the contribution of he, of Robert Hooke. But Robert Hooke gave a huge contribution. But surprisingly, Robert Hooke gave a huge contribution to the area of biology. But at, at that time was as the time was called natural science it was not yet called biology. So natural science was the education of every area, including biology. The term biology, as I explained before, was developed in the, in the end of 19th century because people was trying to get the problematic with, with, with physics. So, so physics was the, the the prestigious son of science. It was a very 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 let's say wanted uh, wanted offspring of science. But physics had a problem because physics did let's say every question in biology we want let's say the the, the, the the previous ideas of biology they want to study life without answering the question what is life so it was a very, very big problem because it is a uh, life is very complex even today bearing for the time for the time they didn't know uh, there's a story of Newton Isaac Newton trying to trying to 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 that to put something in his eye like a sharp edge in his eye he was trying to understand how the vision uh, worked in order for to see that the time it was not the uh, so he, he as, a, as a physicist was trying to understand the, the, the physiology of the eyes so it was for you to see that the, at that time it was not so well, well developed so if uh, with the work of your of your hook uh, lever hook was able to to, to to develop the micro the, to discover the microorganism was the protozoa and the, he, that was the first time that you saw that he, that he, that is not just one reality you have a reality of the small so that was let's say, the first time that human looked at the at the very small that he was not possible to see uh, with naked eyes so that's a replica that you can find as well in the in the in the documentary of the uh, Bill New he explained a bit a little bit about this replica this was the first microscope as you can see it's a very simple device it's done of, of brass it's like it's very simple that's just a, a length you look at here you put the sample here and you can move it's very simple uh, I have never seen this kind of replica, uh, let's say, uh, la uh, let's say, uh, in front of me. But having some research, it seems very, very interesting because it's a very simple device and was was the beginning of the the beginning of the development of the, what's called microbiology, which is a very rich area that the system biology and the biomathematics has been given give a big contribution. The problematic of the micro uh, realm, realm is that uh, we um, we cannot see 
let's say you cannot teach uh, heavy the number it's it's more it's quite similar of uh, what happened in physics physics you have the concept of the uh, of nanowire nanowire they are very small system but they, they, they are in the realm of Armstrong. Armstrong you cannot see by naked eyes except for last year last let's uh, last year 2014 no uh, two years ago 2014 they developed the first microscope that is that you can see the nano in the nano dimension. When I wrote my thesis of Master of Science, I was working with my with with, with um, I was working with molecular dynamics, and I have written that one of the one of the motivation of of molecular dynamics is that you cannot see the stuff that you can do with, uh, with simulation of of molecular dynamics. But then I recently discovered that that he, now uh, it was developed one year after my thesis. Maybe it was been developed before, but he was the guy who got the Nobel Prize for that. He developed the microscope that you can see in the nano dimension. But even you can see the nano dimension, uh, there are, for in the case of molecular of of molecular dynamics of of, of nano nano wires, the the nano wire they happen so fast. Neck information happens the same in the, in the time of photo Photo, photo seconds, photo seconds. Even if you can see by eyes, you cannot see it because it's 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 much 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 more faster than the human eyes can can see. So it seems to have a problem here again. Let's see what see, you can be done. I'm not quite sure what the problem here. So I, I will have to restart the the transmission to see. Maybe you could let me know if you are having problem. If you just have to write me this window, so let's say that's not okay. Okay, now it seems that you are you are back. You are it's working well. Okay, now it seems that it, it I hope that it's it's working just fine. Okay, I think it's working just fine. So you, you uh, so as I explained before, the, the, the microorganism reality, the microorganism realm, was was found by by Leverhulme, and it has been very important for the for the upcoming upcoming discussion that came in, uh, in the in the recent time. So the the nucleus was a very important be discovered because it separated the earth from 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 most of the animals. It's called the prokary prokaryotes and the eukaryotes. And the, it helps us out to understand because if you see the, the organism called the eukaryote, which which include ourselves, they have a very complex genome. The the the, the network in which which one of the are the system biology has been working. It uh, the way that the, the 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 organization of the of the genome occur is much more complex than the prokaryotes organism. The realization that there is a uh, this uh, Joseph Gall is a uh, is a research from the I think the Massachusetts Institute of Genome I don't remember quite well, but he's American scientist and the 
certainly very nice the, the realization that there is a single structure all, to all of us so that was important discovery of, of, of the cell and the nucleus that it was realized for the first time it was quite similar to uh, similar of what Newton was able to do Newton as his story goes she was on the tree and an apple fell, his, uh, uh, fell uh, in, in his head and he realized for the first time that maybe the force here in Earth, in the force out in the universe, was the same. So he was able to unify in a single picture the in a single picture the reality. So the, the physics of the Earth, Earth and the physics of the of the cosmos was unified by one. The cell structure and the in the discovery of the cell, the cell nuclear and so on, helped the you to separate the first, to unify the universe as the one that every, every living, living system, living organism, they are unified, they have the cell, they have the way the organization of the cell. It doesn't matter if it's plant, if it is a tissue, if it is a microorganism, all of them they have cell. They have there will be a multicellular organism or simple cellular organism, that, that in the case of more simple way of life. But independent of that, it gave us a single picture of reality that was one of the one of the things that we uh, that we uh, that we are that we are chasing in biology nowadays. So nowadays, one of the one applications of biomathematics and biology as a general is to, is to create a, a general theory, the theory that can be unified. Of course, there are some controversy on that if that's possible or not for this. For example, I, I was reading a paper recently about it, written by um, a scientist from Denmark. I have talked to her by social network. And the, it's very interesting because uh, in, this, in, in, in that paper, she, she asked for, for, for more flexibility when you come to, to biology and to medicine and the end it, it, it is one of the uh, one of the point one of the, the let's say that uh, when you, uh, we are working with the, we, uh, we are working with biology with the living system we should be a little bit more careful in the sense that uh, not, you can, cannot be sure that uh, the same kind of generalization that we, we were able to achieve in, in physical behavior in, in biology, but at least we will be able to get close. And in the, for the point of the, uh, the idea that we going to discuss in the main talk, is what's called the system thinking theory. The system, the, the system, uh, um, so, sorry, the general system theory. The general system theory is more or less like the general theory of relativity. They were developed at the same time, more or less at the same time. They were developed more or less because of the same problem. In the, in the case of the general theory of relativity, Einstein, he saw that he, the theory of Maxwell and the theory of Newton, the theory of Newton explained the mass, like bodies, planets, and the falling stone. In the theory of Maxwell explained light, explained electromagnetic waves, uh, and so on. But the Einstein wants to put it in a single picture, so that was how he, he sees his theory of relativity was born. In the, in the case of the general system theory, it was born for the same or for the same reason. It was found that that that, uh, that, he, that you had some problem in the, in the in the reality. Some theory was not trying to put together. People are not people at the time. Uh, for example, one of the big problems that happened before there was a theory of of Carnot. Carnot was uh, was the scientist, the French scientist that he that he developed the the, the theory of, 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 of thermodynamics he he proved that there is no there is no machine that has a high efficiency and one of the laws of thermodynamics says that he uh, 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 let's say say that he, uh, if you have two systems the two systems work it means that the entropy of the system will always increase. So the entropy of a system of our system uh, uh, will never decrease. So that was a, um, let's say a, a problem. And in that case was that they found that that living system could decrease entropy. So the universe is going toward the toward uh, 
lack of organization, disorganization toward the to, to the chaos. On the other hand, the living system of course was the theory of revolution of the evolution of of Darwin. So that was a the, the theory of Darwin said that we are we are going through organization. So uh, the living system go from the simple to the complex. The universe goes to the complex to the simple. So how that possible that you have two 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 uh, two theories describe the universe? So one one of the way that people uh, try to to put it that the, uh, they say they say that they are simple uh, live system live system uh, that uh, let's say hard method hard method there is no there is no there is nothing to discuss about that so that was more or less what uh, let's say what uh, was said uh, about the uh, about the uh, the theory. So the, uh, the the general system the, the general the general system theory that we, that that the now nowadays used for example in system biology complex system theory they have the concept of emergent property they try to explain how the a complex system uh, uh, exists how complex system uh, let's how complex system work so uh, I will. Uh, I'll, So before what you uh, what you did so the, this is in order how they this I'm as I said before I'm, I'm trying to do a kind of a, a time traveling here and here was as you see it's quite recent if you compare that for the for the other field of science the base microscope which was important for biology was like not like five uh, five hundred years ago and uh, it's relatively recent. Some areas such as physics, they, they discovered come from Aristotle, so 2000 years ago, against like, so if you see it, but in other words, biology has been recently very powerful because it has, it has been given a huge amount of opportunity for people to make investigation. So that shows the importance of the error, despite of the fact that it's a new era of science, it's a very powerful and it's, it's very important. So we are doing in order, so the most important discovery in biology, which is as important as well as the, uh, the current time of, of, of for us in SHS uh, system biology, was the discovery of the, of the nuclear, because it was the first time in biology that uh, we had a unified a theory that unified everyone, so, such, uh, uh, such as human and plant, we, we had a cell that was, uh, was able to uh, unify everyone and so on. Then uh, Leverhoek was able to show that there is a, another realm, another kingdom that is not just human, that we are, that we are just piece of a um, that we are just part of the of a, of the, a very complex system. That the, we uh, we are just uh, let's say the big picture. There is a small organism, and the, the general system yes, general system uh, theory nowadays says about the synergy between the small world and the big world. That the, when you see at the one stage of the network that everything is connected and the uh, the, let's say the microorganism has a, syne a synergy with the, with the big organism and so on. So there is a huge, a huge uh, connectivity between the micro world and the, uh, the micro and the macro world. So they are connected. That's one of the, the one of the big side of the general system thing, uh, thinking, just general system theory. Then you came here, which covered the, the nucleus of the cell, which was extremely important because the nucleus of the cell showed that, that not every organism they have the same cellular structure. Some organisms, called the prokaryote, they are very simple. They, they, the, DNA, the, the, the DNA is, is left all over the, the plasma of the cell. There is no separation, there is no organization of the of the there is no organization of the nucleus, so they are uh, all of the plasma of the cell. The eukaryont, which we are include ourselves, they are um, they are very uh, they are very important. 
So they, they, they separate the DNA from the, the DNA from the plasma. So they create a kind of a wall of separation between the DNA, as you know from the theory for, for, for the eukaryote uh, living system, you have the cell and the, uh, let's say that's more or less right to, I'll, I'll try more or less to explain it, but uh, let's say it's not very complicated. So in the, in the, the eukaryote organism, which include the human, the, um, let's see, uh, you need to change the color, let's see, anyway. Let's say I don't know if you can see very well because of the of the image is not very it's not very good, but uh, the creon uh, have the 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 plus the the membrane you have the nucleus and the, the DNA inside the nucleus. So it so the uh, all the information comes from the comes from the comes from the nucleus. The information comes from the comes from the nucleus. The information uh, left, left uh, leaves the nuclear by some some kind of of uh, small small rules here and the information is, is, is uh, the the protein are produced outside so uh, uh, what leave the nucleus is just the the mrna the messenger that we make the we, we that we send the information be to be encoded so that was so in the first step by discovery the cell all the organism was unified in the second step we the discovery of the nucleus the organism was separated into two groups. One group that has the DNA all over the all over the plasma, and the second group that has the DNA uh, packed, organized in a, in, a, in a structure which was called the nucleus. So, uh, so then you had some uh, some very uh, some odd discoveries that he, this scientist called uh, uh, was discovered the uh, another, another set of organisms which now I, I have I fail to remember the name, but uh, this new organism was a third kingdom, so it, it was uh, he was very famous and so on. I, I think he he didn't get a Nobel for that, but uh, Nobel Prize. But he was very famous for a while because he found that he, uh, f uh, f for most of the of the 20th 20th century, we believe that had just just uh, just just two uh, let's say kingdom, one of the micro uh, which was bacteria and so on. And he showed that you had another one. We, we uh, this other one was able to live in extreme conditions, such as a uh, volcano, and in some kind of uh, like say condition that he, n n not even metal was able to to stay stable in that condition. So he showed a new kind of way of life. And this kind of life can be even living in other planets because they, they have uh, they are very strong. They, are, they can live in conditions that, uh, that uh, is not imaginable for, for the system that we knew so far. So his contribution was very important to show that he had another kingdom which has a very different way of working. So the mitosis was another very important step as well. As you know, the, I mean, I don't get too much detail, but more philosophy. The, sci the, the scientific wisdom that you had was uh, was well, for a time was very worried about the the organization of the system how the system organized uh, the um, the development of human being or even in any animal that he has this kind of uh, of uh, have the let's say the step of uh, of uh, of embryo that has the embryo, and the embryo has developed to start from a single cell and multiply, multiply until you have the formation. Today, it's a big, very big challenge because not even in the past that, they, for example, they, they, they developed the what's called the French the French flag. The French flag trying to explain uh, how the, you have the formation of the, of the, of the tissue. So the idea that have the morphogen, which was a kind of hormone. The, if no, uh, one concentration of the one was high, you have the formation of the of the uh, kind of tissue, and so on. When it was low, uh, you have a formation of another tissue. So that was able to explain in a simple way how they, they have the formation of tissue in, in living system. But it was not enough because it was, it's extremely simple. But you see that the, the, that concern started with the mitose. When the mitose was was discovered, then is the 
the my tools was covered we, we start have the concern about how to explain the the how, uh, how one tissue transform in the into another so most of uh, most of this code was 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 let's say uh, was uh, let's say put in a, in a, in a publication the, this, uh, this author he, he gave a very important uh, contribution to come to have the concept of chromosome. As you know, chromosome is a place in which we, we, uh, we let's say, we, we keep all the DNA, we keep all the DNA in a, in a, in a, in a set of structures called the, called the chromosome. So in the course of human event, there is a pre-recent, uh, there are pre-recent, that's as I said before, the development of in biology is quite recent. They are like two hundred years ago compared to two thousand years ago of physics and the even chemistry. So cell uh, cell differentiation was uh, was the next step of of the of the mitos. Bear in mind that he, once we once we. We uh, we understood the importance of the, of the, of mitos. We uh, we start to ask uh, when and how does this happen? Which which one of the one of the concerns of biology today to explain? It's trying to simulate a heavy that in a summer school in Como Lake in uh, 2014, and the, the scientist was trying to make a computer with new, uh, using a uh, recent theory a theory from from mechanical from mechanical solid which is like a, a finite element and so on and at the same time try to, to explain how the formation of the humans such as we have a case of of the of bad formation for example now now we have in Brazil unfortunately the case of the of the, of the Zika which is a kind of insect that the they think there's a kind of a connection between the, the bad formation of the of the embryo and the the the, uh, the disease the the virus transmitted by this this this, uh, this insect. So, but uh, anyway, it's a big channel. They we uh, we don't I mean scientists in general uh, it's not uh, we don't know. Uh, how exactly the differentiation process happened? Why, if, uh, say, uh, say, some cells transform into another in cell, we transform into an, a different one? They found that, uh, you know, from the from the theory of the of the stem cell. So the stem cell say that uh, the the stem cell is a very it's a very flexible set of cells that can transform in any kind of tissue in your body, but they found that the the, the stem cell is not the one that is flexible. We have as well as well other cells, and the the fact, for example, I was in the research that they are able to use the, the 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 cells of the of the liver to produce insulin. I think they have a limitation that because they cannot do it in a in a in a big number. But that showed that the flexibility of the cell is not lost completely when you, when you, when the stem cell make a kind of of differentiation. So even the cell that has already been differentiated, they still can make some kind of extra work. So hopefully, our brain will not start to produce uh, gas gas. So otherwise, because you know, if they are the same, you can have this possibility. So as, as she said, Ellen uh, Brown, she said that they, they can give rise to all cells of the organism, which is it, she's talking about the stem cell, then something can change. We, we do not know what that thing is. And uh, that, as she said, this is one of the research is called the regenerative medicine. In general, it's the area of, 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 of tissue engineering. So, in the end of the 19th century, which is quite, it's quite like, it's quite close, it's also, it's like one, one hundred years ahead of us. So, how neuron cells communicate if each other was not, was a person? So, you may, uh, you, may you may say that's not very important, so on, but it, indeed it is, because for the, for the point of system biology, system, uh, what system biology is all about? System biology is all about 
to work with a system in the in the big picture as a as a as a as, a, as one connected. So that's what system biology is all about. So neuron, they are a, a very nice example that he, when he, when cells work together in a single in a connected picture, it's a it's one example that shows that he that the that, that the system work as an emergent property, which he, which is a very important concept in this in system biology. So. In the in the early 19, it was demonstrated the the chem connection of of neuron transmission, and so on. In frogs, and the, then for uh, they have uh, they came the concept of hormone, which is a very important concept nowadays because you can show that the, the transmission of cells not just like neuron neuron they make the transmission by new transmitter, which is a very close transmission. Neurons are close to each other. In the case of hormone, you have a second way of transmission of information between cells, which is not close. This is, this is interesting for me because my research now is connected to this one. So I'm working with hormone, more specifically with hormone of, of for not food digestion but food control. So all the early biological systems in the, in the, in the community of, of lives that depends on them are connected. So that's the, one of the, another big discovery of biology that he, everything is connected. So that's called a system thinking, this, the, what I said before, the general system theory. So that they gave the, the concept of, uh, of an ecosystem. But we have new ideas nowadays that they, they, they have new name for that. They, they, they gave like name that most people in order to, to understand this, this, this kind of, of uh, this kind of theory.